Welcome back to the Dr. Rich channel. So you have endometriosis. Did your mother give you painful periods? Is this hereditary? Make sure to stay around to the end to find crazy risk factors for endometriosis that you've never heard of. So we recently got a comment from Abimanika. There's a lot to unpack here, but basically she explains that she didn't previously have painful periods. Now she does. Her family doesn't pay attention. Uh, the pain is still there, even though she's using over-the-counter Tylenol. Uh, she's wondering if it's in her head. And specifically in this uh, question, she's asking why she has it if no one in her family has had it before. So 10% of women, all women, have endometriosis, but there's certain populations that are much more likely. 50% of women with infertility have endometriosis, and 70% of women with pelvic pain have endometriosis. Specific risk factors for endometriosis include never being pregnant, um, starting your periods early or ending your periods late, like a late menopause, heavy periods. There are certain birth defects uh, of the uterus that can cause endometriosis. Some risk factors that might surprise you are height greater than 68 inches. Colton, how tall Five is that? Eight. Five foot eight. Consumption of trans unsaturated fats, being underweight or having a low body mass index and severe sexual abuse during adolescence are also risk factors for developing endometriosis. So what risk factors or behaviors are protective to prevent endometriosis? So having multiple births, starting your period late, greater than age 14, consumption of long chain omega-3 fatty acids, you call me a fatty acid, <laughs> Also, there is a role with race, with white and Asian being an increased risk factor for endometriosis and black and Hispanic being protective with less risk of endometriosis. And birth control pills were actually protective to prevent the formation of endometriomas, which are endometriosis tumors on the ovary. In one study, 14% of women uh, developed these types of cysts who had endometriosis uh, that were on birth control and 49% of women uh, develop endometriomas who did not take birth control. So the question then is, does having family members with endometriosis make it more likely for you to have endometriosis? And it does, and that's a risk factor. And women can also have it if no family history exists. So what should you do if you have questions or concerns about endometriosis? Ask Squidward, as in my son said. So what do you do if you have a family history of endometriosis or some other risk factor, or if you have pain and you don't have a risk factor? Either way, you should seek out an opinion with a physician, preferably a specialist in removing endometriosis. I'd like to thank Abimanika for sharing her story. Drop your story in the comments section below for a chance to be featured in our next video. And please share and subscribe.